What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm sorry if this audio is bad or the quality. I'm sorry if this audio quality is bad because I'm using my GoPro. I um, this camera has been shutting off on me recently while I'm using it, and the audio has been going out. So I'm down to the GoPro right now. I'm kind of working on something um, with other cameras, but uh, we'll see for that for the future. But today I'm going to use this and this, and we're going to see what's inside fishing lures. So for the soft plastics, we are going to use Cabela's Fisherman Go-To Series. These are really cheap soft plastics. Um, they're a 3.5 inch craw. Uh, we're just going to test the cheap soft plastics to see what is on the inside of these. Some Zoom, tube, some zoom Tubes, 8 pack, super salty, 3.75 inch, and a little bit of flukes. I'm not sure what brand these are, but they're just some flukes. So let's cut these open and see what what's inside. All right, so the, for the fluke, right off the bat, it's kind of uh, feels like a gummy worm. Uh, if you can see that, it looks kind of like a gummy worm. Um, but really, nothing special. A little sticky, but other than that, no real nothing lo we're looking for. Next, the zoom. So these tubes are pretty colorful. On the inside, you can't really see them because of these uh, tentacles sticking off the back. But uh, we'll see what's on the inside. Okay, so it kind of looks like a little bit of a donut. But the same thing on the inside. A hole. It's a little sticky um, like last time. It feels kind of like a gummy worm again. So nothing special, but we'll see if the craws have what we're looking for. Okay, so the craws look pretty similar to the flukes in the uh, shape that they're really solid and sticky on the inside. Um, and like a gummy worm, they're pretty stretchy. Oh, never mind, it just broke. Um, so now for the fun part, the hard bait. For the hard baits, we have a jawbone popper and some little crankbait looking thing. I'm not really too sure what it is actually. All right, let's see. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, alright, we got a dent. We'll try the back. Wow. Okay. So this is what it looks like destroyed. Alright, it's got two rattles in here. One bigger one for the back end, one smaller one for the front end. Um, oh, that's gone. Alright, we got it. So as you guys can tell, it's hollow on the inside. Um, I kind of expected that. Um, as you can see, this little hook loop here, um, where you put the hook on, is real, real, in, real in, reinforced on the front there. Uh, nothing much other than that. It's reinforced down here for this hook up for the uh, treble hook, and same with the back. Nothing too exciting for uh, this lure. Let's go to the uh, crankbait. Okay, ready? All right, so this one took the damage right here. Let's try it again. All right, that one's pretty good. As you guys can see, the paint's starting to chip off here. And the bottom cracked out a little bit. Let's try it again. Wow. Okay, that went in a lot of pieces. We have piece number one. Piece number two. So this is the only remains I can find from this one. Um, as you guys can see, it's a little bit thicker than this wall here. Um, so it looks a, bit, a little bit more durable, but the paint did chip off pretty easily. Um, the rattle is stuck inside the front there. Um, as you guys can see right there. So I, I really don't know why that is. Um, probably because I just smacked it with a hammer. Um, but this one held up better than the jawbone popper, I think. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That is what is inside of a fishing lure.